Hello everyone and welcome to Future Shop. This is episode number 4 and today we are going to be making panels just like this. One to get our items and one to display our inventory. So if you want to know how to do this, keep watching. This is where we left off in the last episode. We created a simple inventory system that works pretty reliably, I can say. And for this episode, like I said, we are going to be working on panels. So let's get started with a time lapse. Ok then, with our visuals in place let's start by creating a canvas controller and this script is going to be responsible for managing all of our panels, all of our canvas related stuff. And in order for us to start with that we are going to create a public game object and this game object is going to be the one that's rep responsible for telling us which panel is active. So let's call it something like visible panel. And this is just so we know which panel is visible at any point in time. And with that in place, we want to create a function for our buttons to call. So when we click the button, we tell it, okay, I've clicked this button, I want the job holder that's the game object that holds all of our job related visuals to activate itself and become visible and I want the visible panel to hide so we swap them and let's go by start and create a public void show panel and let's pass a transform a panel to show show I cannot write today. Ok, now this function is going to be very very simple. So the first thing we have to do is go like visible, visible panel dot set active and we set this to false, meaning the active panel, let's say that we have the inventory open. The inventory is going to be closed and then the visible panel is going to be equals to the panel we want to show dot game object and then 
we simply set it active again meaning the older one hides we assign the new one to it and we activate it all again and now it's just a matter of time a matter of us going into here and into our canvas controller and the first thing we have to do is tell it the the panel that's going to be opened when the game loads and in our case it's going to be the inventory one for I, I, I prefer this view instead of the other and now we go here into our job button and we say on click add an event drag the canvas controller find the function right here show panel and drag the transform we are going to do the same one to the inventory add a new event click drag the canvas controller get the function show panel and pass the panel right here so with this if we now run the game we should see we should see that if we click here on this button we change the panel that's active to the one that gets us items and if we click this one for the inventory we go back to the inventory and as you can see I can click this again and again it doesn't matter we can do a little check to see if the, the panel that we want to set visible is already visible so but th that's just some tiny optimizations that we can do later on so let's yeah and an important thing is if I get an item you can see I just got copper if I jump back to the inventory is already there there's no need for extra code we can get whatever items we want in this panel and go to the next one and that everyone every item is there perfect so yeah we just reached the end of this episode this was a short one because panels there's not much to talk about they're just some simple and easy things to to play out that in the long run will help us a lot in the next episode I'm going to start with jobs and jobs are going to be instead of we coming here and just getting an item by clicking I want to have a list of available jobs that when you click you get an item and that leads to some more interesting stuff like each job has its own timer that will increment meaning you don't get your item right away you have to wait a little bit a little bit so yeah if you like this video just give it a like comment anything any doubts any problems and if you enjoy our series subscribe to the channel for more videos and i hope to see you on the next one